The MiG-25, known to NATO as the Foxbat, was a Cold War colossus that embodied Soviet ambition and ingenuity. Born from fear of American air superiority, it soared to unmatched speeds and altitudes, striking awe and dread in the West. In the late 1950s, the Cold War was a crucible of paranoia and technological rivalry. The Soviet Union faced a growing threat from American high-altitude aircraft. The U-2 spy plane, which flew with impunity over Soviet territory, exposed the limitations of existing Soviet interceptors like the MiG-21. More alarming was the U.S. Air Force's North American XB-70 Valkyrie, a Mach 3 plus strategic bomber project designed to cruise at 70,000 feet, delivering nuclear payloads beyond the reach of Soviet defenses. Soviet intelligence, tracking the XB-70's development by 1957, saw it as a potential game-changer capable of penetrating deep into their homeland. The Soviet Air Defense Forces, PVO, demanded a countermeasure. An interceptor that could climb to extreme altitudes, exceed Mach 3, and neutralize high-flying threats like the XB-70. The Mikoyan Gurevich Design Bureau was tasked in 1959 with creating this specialized aircraft, which would become the MiG-25. While the XB-70 was cancelled in 1961, its Spectre, along with emerging U.S. projects like the A-12, predecessor to the State Route 71, drove the MiG-25 specifications. The Soviet Union needed a machine to protect its vast airspace, and the MiG-25 was their answer. Development of the MiG-25 began in 1959, with the Mikoyan Gurevich team facing a daunting challenge, build an aircraft capable of unprecedented speed and altitude without the advanced materials available to the West. The result was a triumph of pragmatic engineering. The MiG-25's airframe, constructed from 80% nickel-steel alloy, 11% aluminum, and 9% titanium, was designed to withstand temperatures exceeding 570 degrees Fahrenheit during high-speed flight. Stainless steel, chosen over costly titanium, made the aircraft heavy but durable, earning it the nickname, Flying Tank. Two Tomansky R-15B-300 turbojet engines, each generating 22,500 pounds of thrust with afterburners, powered the MiG-25 to Mach 2.83 operationally, with bursts up to Mach 3.2. Its large, swept-back wings, optimized for high-altitude stability rather than agility, supported a 118-foot wingspan. The Smirche radar, using vacuum tubes instead of semiconductors, delivered 600 kilowatts of power for long-range target detection and was resistant to electromagnetic pulses from nuclear blasts, a nod to Soviet nuclear war doctrine. Armed with four massive R-40 air-to-air missiles, the MiG-25 was a purpose-built interceptor and reconnaissance platform. The first prototype, the Yi-155 P-1, took flight on September 6, 1964, marking a milestone in Soviet aviation. Testing revealed the aircraft's raw power but also its limitations, such as poor low-speed maneuverability. Despite these challenges, the MiG-25's performance was unmatched, setting the stage for its production. The MiG-25 entered production in 1969 at the Gorky I Aircraft Factory, starting with the reconnaissance variant, MiG-25R. The interceptor version, MiG-25P, followed in 1971, with the aircraft officially entering service with the PVO in 1970. By 1984, 1,186 units were built, including variants like the improved MiG-25PD. On July 10, 1967, the MiG-25 made its public debut at the Domodedovo Air Show, stunning Western observers. Its massive size, sleek lines, and rumored capabilities sparked fear and speculation. NATO, misinterpreting its large wings as a sign of agility, codenamed it Foxbat and assumed it was a versatile fighter bomber, amplifying its mystique. As the MiG-25 entered service, it became a significant military threat to the West. Capable of flying at 80,000 feet and Mach 2.83, it operated beyond the reach of most Western fighters and surface-to-air missiles. Its reconnaissance variants, like the MiG-25R, proved elusive during missions over Egypt in 1971-1972, evading Israeli F-4 Phantoms during the Yom Kippur War. The MiG-25's presence deterred State Route 71 Blackbird overflights of Soviet territory, forcing the U.S. to rely on satellites. Western intelligence, overestimating its capabilities, believed it could outmaneuver and outfight NATO aircraft, prompting the U.S. to rush development of the F-15 Eagle to counter the perceived threat. The Foxbat's speed, altitude, and psychological impact made it a Cold War boogeyman. 
On September 6, 1976, the MiG-25 secrets were laid bare when Soviet pilot Lt. Viktor Belenko defected, landing his MiG-25P at Hakodate Airport, Japan. In a daring escape, Belenko delivered the aircraft to the West, providing U.S. and Japanese engineers with a rare opportunity to dissect a Soviet frontline jet. Over 67 days, they analyzed its airframe, radar, and avionics, uncovering both strengths and weaknesses. The MiG-25 speed and altitude capabilities were confirmed, but its crude construction, rough welds mistaken for repairs, and reliance on vacuum tubes shocked analysts expecting cutting-edge technology. Its poor maneuverability and high fuel consumption further diminished its aura. The defection, dubbed an intelligence bonanza by CIA Director George H. W. Bush, demystified the Foxbat. The Soviets, humiliated, recovered the aircraft but quickly upgraded the MiG-25 PD with improved radar and missiles to address exposed vulnerabilities. Bolenko's act reshaped Western perceptions, turning fear into derision. Following the defection, the West mocked the MiG-25 as a overhyped relic. Its vacuum tube radar, seen as archaic compared to U.S. semiconductor systems, and rough craftsmanship led analysts to call it a Potemkin village of an airplane. The revelation that it was a specialized interceptor, not a dogfighting multi-role fighter, further fueled ridicule. Critics overlooked its effectiveness in its niche role, intercepting high-altitude threats, reflecting a Western bias toward versatile aircraft. Despite the mockery, the MiG-25 remained a potent tool for the Soviets, with reconnaissance variants continuing to operate globally. The MiG-25's legacy continued with its successor, the Mikoyan MiG-31 Foxhound, which first flew in 1975 and entered service in 1979. The MiG-31 refined the Foxbats concept, retaining Mach 2.83 speed and high-altitude performance but adding significant upgrades, the Zaslan radar, capable of tracking multiple targets, and Solovid D-30 F-6 engines for better efficiency. Armed with long-range R-33 missiles, the MiG-31 could engage multiple targets simultaneously, addressing the MiG-25 single-target limitation. With improved range and modern avionics, the Foxhound remains in Russian service, planned for use until at least 2030, proving the MiG-25's enduring influence. The MiG-25 Foxbat's journey from a 1950s response to the XB-70 to a Cold War icon is a tale of ambition, innovation, and revelation. Born to counter American aerial threats, its steel airframe and blistering speed made it a titan of its era. From its 1969 production to its 1976 defection, it shaped Western air strategy, spurring the F-15's creation. Though mocked for its simplicity, the MiG-25 excelled in its role, and its successor, the MiG-31, carries its legacy forward. The Fox Bat was more than an aircraft, it was a Soviet challenge to the skies, forever etched in aviation history.